jury find the defendant guilty. The verdict Karina Vetrano's family had been waiting for. An emotional scene inside this Queen's courtroom last night after the jury spoke. Chanel Lewis found guilty on all counts in the killing of Karina Vetrano. The 30-year-old was brutally murdered in August 2016 while jogging near her Howard Beach home. This is the end of a long um, journey for the Vetrano family and for Howard Beach. Father Francis Colomaria is the pastor of St. Helens Church, the Vetrano family's parish. He says now starts a healing process. It's caused an emotional uh, state for this family that has uh, really brought them to their knees. Um, who could imagine their daughter uh, being brutally murdered? Outside the Vetrano home today, angel wings attached to the second floor, a white bow and purple flowers tied to a nearby telephone pole. The family declined our request for an interview. Augustus Agati is a retired New York State Supreme Court Justice. A friend of the family's, the former judge had left the Vetrano home moments before our interview. Obviously, there's a, there's a closure to this. It's not a full closure. They still don't have their daughter. But um, I could see a difference. They seemed calmer. Vetrano was raised Catholic and graduated from Archbishop Malloy High School and St. John's University. DNA linked Lewis to the Howard Beach jogger. As for Lewis, the 22-year-old was escorted out of the courtroom in handcuffs. Lewis is scheduled to be sentenced on April 17th and could face life without parole. The case is over upon sentence, but there's always the appeals process. We say in our faith, the truth makes us free, um, but in his case, uh, it doesn't. In Howard Beach, Queens, Tim Harfman, Currents News.